Welcome back, Freeloaders, to another episode of Loading Minecraft, episode 12 to be exact. And I know what you're thinking. Richard, today is not Thursday. What the hell are you doing? Well, I did have an episode planned for Thursday. It was, I recorded it on Wednesday, had a lot of trouble getting it to render. Finally, on Thursday, I was like, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out a day late. A day late will be fine. After I rendered it and actually watched through it just to make sure everything was edited correctly, I just really wasn't happy with it. So I scrapped the idea, I just deleted the whole video, and I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come home on Friday, I'm going to record another episode, I'm going to put it on on Saturday, and I'm still going to get my Sunday video out on time. So this weekend, you're probably watching this on Saturday, I don't know, if you watch it the day it came out, you're coming out and watching it on Saturday. But what's going to happen is I'm going to have a Saturday episode and a Sunday episode. And then after that, we're going back to our normal schedule of Thursdays at noon and Sundays at noon Pacific time. Um, but the reason why I really didn't like it is because we were I was working on a project. And well, let's go out. Let's go over there and take a look. So, uh, slow sand. So, as you know, we got this area over here fixed up. So now we have a staircase going either way. It's not that dirt and cobble staircase that we had sitting right here. Uh, the one that looked really bad. So yeah, it only, uh, it, it, about as bad as a dirt floor or dirt ceiling rather. Um, and we cut this big area out here and we're going to be putting some farms in. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here is, as I mentioned before, sugarcane farm and then probably just little pens for each of the sheep that have different colored wool in them so we can use that in the future. This is what I was working on was up here. I, w I wanted a new tower. And we had talked about how the old tower just wasn't cutting it, and that's why I got rid of it. Well, I tried three other tower designs. Three. And I just was not ha happy with it. So we went through a couple of builds, and it took a long time for me to record that episode, and it still didn't work out. And what I have sitting there now, I'm going to try to get a, a little bit further away, just so you can kind of see the whole build. I'm. It's big. I like that. It's not too big. I was going to do a big pointed like mage tower roof up in the top. It's got like a good stature to it. But even this, I'm just not happy with. I think even if I get that up, the top looks a little funny. And then once that big piece is up there, it's going to look like an ice cream cone. Yep. That's why I didn't like it. It looks like an ice cream cone. We're not trying to build the land of frozen treats. So that's why. So now what we're going to be doing today is I, I've kind of put this on the wayside. I'm going to leave this here. I, I just really don't like it. So we're going to be working on actually something else today. And like I have been saying in the past, I really want to fight the Wither. No, we're not going to be fighting him today, but some of the stuff that we should get ready for is potions. And we don't have a potion room. We don't even have a brewing stand. But we have been farming our nether wart which actually isn't looking too bad right now. And I don't have a ton of it, or we don't have a ton of it. We've got a four stacks and, you know, half a stack. Well, a little over half a stack. That's quite a bit of, you know, another wart. We don't need a ton of it, though. Sorry, emergency mute had to sneeze. So, what we're going to be working on, and actually, let's see. So, what, we're, what my plan is, is we keep having these stairwells go all over. So, I have a stairwell going down there. We have the stairwells going up either side. We have the stairwell coming down here. I want to continue this stairwell and put the brewing room down there. Well, what we need to do is we need to dig a stairwell and a big room. And what we need is I've actually already built it in a creative world to see what it would look like, you know, play around with it, make sure it's the design I wanted and not waste even more time than I already have trying to build that stupid tower. What we're going to need is a 15 by 15 by 9 block wide tall room. And we're going to be building it right down here. And normally, I would say, I'm going to time lapse this. You guys want to watch me dig a hole? But I already did it. There's a big hole back here. Look at this hole. It's huge. It's huge. And actually, if you look at my diamond pick, this started out brand new. I repaired all of my tools, and actually, we can actually take a look. So this is uh, Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3, uh, Efficiency 3. Uh, the shovel was just originally Silk Touch and Efficiency uh, 3, but I actually combined it with 
an Unbreaking 3 shovel that I had laying around. So now it's got all three. I repaired the diamond axe, and you see this. Actually, I just put some diamonds in this one. So this one's exactly the same, but it is now brand new. And as you can see, I'm already down to half my pick. There's some resources that we can grab, but... Then I would say, let's go get some resources. Nope, didn't want to waste time. Got them all right here. Got our brewing stand. We got some quartz, quartz stairs, bookshelves, soul sand? I've never built with soul sand, and I don't see a lot of builds with soul sand. Some people will throw them in as random blocks in like pathways to give it that darker tone, but I don't see a lot of soul sand in builds. So that was kind of my... My idea is I want to get a build that's using materials that I don't generally use. I don't generally use the nether brick other than at the end farm. Uh, I've never, ever, not once, used soul sand in a build other than a nether wart farm. Oh, speaking of nether, uh, uh, nether bricks, not nether racks. So we'll clear this out because it's an actual place now. So we got stairwells going everywhere. Speaking of nether bricks, I actually did finish this over here. I didn't finish the redstone. I don't know what's been going on. Somehow, I've built it a couple of times. It doesn't turn out. So, I just have it back to how it used to be. So, as you can see, the netherrack, or netherrack, nether bricks go all the way down. So, this is just kind of back to where it used to be. Now, we can see this, actually. So, that's going to be a little bit different than original. I need to put this back around. And I'm wondering, I'm kind of trying to brainstorm what we're going to be doing down here. I don't like that it kind of pinches down here in the middle and then goes over. And then we have this stairwell down into the mines and the unfinished slime farm. But, you know, things will come in due time. So let's go ahead head it back up here. We're going to get started on the potion room. Send this back down. So I'll make a cut and I'll see you guys and give you guys a progress update. All right, guys, time for a progress update. As you can see, I have the nether brick started. And you can also see that it's not going to be just blank walls. It's not going to just be a big cube room. I'm going to have rounded walls coming in. So everything's going to kind of build up to a central point, And the design is going to be essentially nether brick on the outside. And then it's going to have a border of quartz on either side with a de design up in the top. And then the corners are going to be subtle. They're going to be the soul sand. So I'm going to keep pressing on and we'll see how far we can get. Remember how I said that I had all the resources that were necessary to build that? I lied. Apparently I didn't grab enough quartz. So this should be fun. The last time I... Okay, it looks like they're not too bad. I don't know. I'm not going to test it. Last time I was in here, I was trying to kill a ghast. Used my bow. Accidentally hit a pigman. It was not fun. So I'm hoping that these guys aren't... Eh, it looks like they're not mad because they'd be making that noise and coming after me by now. So it looks like we're good there at least. But it was it was, a, it was kind of a hairy situation. Kind of scary. But I'm not sure if there's any quartz, the surface quartz. There might be some over there. Oh, some right here enough surface quartz left here uh, near our nether portal so sooner or later we're gonna have to start branching out and just like in the overworld I tend to get lost and one of these days I'm gonna get lost out here not be able to find my way back and it's gonna take hours and it's not gonna be fun so I try to stay as close as I can to uh, <laughs> the nether portal so I don't that doesn't happen and you know what I even have a compass but it's in a chest back at the base um so what i'm going to do is going to go ahead and grab some more of this nether quartz and hopefully uh we have enough uh to finish the build here soon it looks like there's a couple pockets right here the one we're digging one there and i'll, I'll kind of explore around to see what i can find hopefully i don't get lava or uh die in any way but i kind of want to give you guys an update of what was going on and if anything else happens that's uh, a little scary squirrely or even funny i will bring you guys back we're getting closer and closer to this being finished. And actually, I think this is looking a little bit better than it actually did in the creative world, only because it seems to be a lot darker. And that may be ch that may change when we get some of the finer details in. You did see the buckets of lava that were in there. Um, but you can see we have the netherrack in, or netherrack, I keep calling it that, nether bricks, and then the nether quartz as well. 
Um, so the, I like I really like the contrast of these two colors, and then the separation of the brick and the soul sand with this. Uh, I I I really enjoyed this build, and I'm I'm really excited to for you guys to see the finishing, uh, the all the finishing touches and everything put in. Um, so I'm gonna keep on chugging along, and I'll talk to you guys in just another few minutes. So it's getting closer to completion, and it's actually a lot brighter in here than it's going to be. I have these torches in here, so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not, but actually without them, it gets really moody in here. And I actually kind of like that. Oh, one more over there. So it's really dark. Like you can kind of faintly see the bookshelves. And then the focal point of the room is going to be right here in the middle where we'll have our brewing stand and then the chests are going to be for the different items that we use to um, of course brew them for or brew into potions rather wow that was broken english i apologize uh, but i have to say i really like the uh, soul sand in the walls it's just one of those things like it's dark it's eerie and every time i think of potions i think of like an apothecary medieval kind of like almost like a witch kind of feel to it something dark so i really wanted to go on the darker side of minecraft uh to get this build uh for this build um so i'm going to try a couple of a couple more things and uh, see if i can wrap this up all right guys and we have the build finished so as you can see i so originally actually what i had was i had pedestals for uh one in each corner and then where this piece of soul stone was I had actually had lava coming down and it kept the room well lit. Well, the what what I did that differed from that design was I wanted this room to be dark and putting that in there made the quartz really pop and it was really bright and everything was just in my opinion too bright. So what I did differently this time was I actually made it so this is on a half slab. So there's not going to be any spawning in here anyways. Um, and then here is this, th those are actually stairs here. It's actually light enough to where mobs aren't going to spawn stairs. And then right here is where, uh, is also stairs, but we also have enough light where they're not going to spawn. And the reason why there's stairs on either side where these bookshelves are is because that is where our water is. So we can always get water for our potions. I wanted, I was trying to find a clever way of putting it in here, uh, that would be hidden but easily accessible. And I was thinking of doing pistons and originally I had an idea of putting these three blocks on uh, like on pistons or even underneath on pistons and it would pull the blocks back and then you'd have water. Well, I opted for lights down there to kind of keep the, the room as dark as possible without being too dark. So you can still see it's still on the darker side. You know, it's not well lit like this hallway, but we're not going it, to, it has an ambiance to it. And we still have our water. So even from back here, you know, you don't really notice it at first, in my opinion, until you're actually right up on it, and then you'll still be able to get it. Um, so I hope you guys do like this build. If you guys did like it, please do leave a like. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. My name's Loading Richard, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.